Hello, welcome. I'm Holly O'Brien. I'll be your coach today for the Teeter Fit Form. We're gonna be doing a lower body superset. Uh, four different exercises, two to three rounds, depending on your fit level. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the handles here. You do wanna have some tension, right? Because we wanna use the tension for balance. So I am gonna turn up the tension here to about a 10. Definitely if you're just starting out, uh, start off maybe between a five and a seven. I'm gonna go ahead and put that at a 10. I am gonna be doing step backs. I'm gonna keep my arms straight. I'm gonna position myself, uh, my left foot in the middle of the fit form here. And I'm gonna step back with the right foot. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds and go. We're gonna alternate, step backs. Make sure you have your weight in your heels. You're activating your glutes. You're keeping your core tight the entire time and your shoulders back. Make sure you breathe. And then out, we have about 10 more seconds. Keep going. You got this, keep stepping, stepping back. Keep your core tight at all times and your shoulders back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go to squats. You're gonna wanna keep it at, again, a level 10. You wanna have a little bit of tension here. And when I'm doing the squats, I am going to keep my arms straight. You notice my arms are straight and my feet are about shoulder width apart. And when you're squatting down, you wanna make sure that your knees do not go over your toes. Okay, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. And go. One. Two. Three. Four tight. Shoulders back. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes. So 15 more seconds to go. When you come up, squeeze the glutes. Keep your shoulders back. Core tight. Notice my knees are not going over my toes. Five more seconds, guys. You got this. Make sure you're breathing. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna to do goblet squats now. The difference with this is I'm gonna hold my arms in a position where my hands are going up, my thumbs are going underneath the handles, and I'm holding at my chest, and I'm keeping it close to my chest, okay? So, when you're doing goblet squats, it's the same position. You're gonna step forward on the fit form. You're gonna step forward on the fit form and make sure your toes are almost touching the end. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Notice how I'm breathing, taking deep breaths and pushing out as I come up. My core is tight the entire time. My shoulders are back. You can only go to here in your squat. That's a great place to start. You don't need to go all the way down. I have enough tension on here where I'm getting enough of a workout just by going down halfway. Five more to go, guys. Five more. Nice, okay, so that's a goblet squat. Now we're gonna do RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. So this, we're gonna keep our arms straight and we are hinging at the hips. Notice that I move my feet back a little bit where I'm almost to the end. I'm not gonna have my heels over, just almost to the end. My legs are straight the entire time and I'm just hinging with my hips. My arms are straight, my tension is still at a 10. If you feel like you need to add a little bit more, go ahead and add a little bit more. Ready, 30 seconds and go. Hinging at the hips, pulling straight back, squeezing the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. Shoulders are back, arms are straight, suck in that belly. Just hinging at the hips. 10 more seconds. Squeeze your glutes at the very top. You got this, go. Almost there, four more seconds. Nice, okay, so that is round one. You can do two to three rounds here. If you are a beginner, go ahead and do two. Take a little bit of break now, get a glass of water, take a nice break. If you're a little more advanced, or you're feeling a little funky, go ahead and do three rounds with me, okay? So if you feel like this tension was not enough, make sure you just raise the tension a little bit. So we're about to get started. Again, it's only four exercises, we're super setting. The first one we're going with is step backs. Your arms are gonna be straight. You're gonna move your left foot into the center of the platform and you're stepping back with your right foot. Keep your arms straight, your shoulders back, your core tight. Ready? And go. Make sure you're breathing the entire time, keeping your core tight and your shoulders back. Keep your shoulders back. Core tight. You're activating your glutes. 
and your hamstrings right now. Make sure your core is tight. Three more seconds. Okay, nice, good job. Okay, now we're gonna go back to squats. Again, you're gonna keep your arms straight. I'm gonna crank up the tension just a little bit since we're on round two. Nice. Okay, so with the squats, you wanna make sure you keep your heels, your weight in your heels, your arms straight. And when you're squatting, you wanna make sure your uh, knees do not go over your toes. Okay, ready? 30 seconds. You should have enough tension here where you can feel it. Deep breaths in. Core tight. You got this, 15 more seconds. Deep breath in, shoulders back. Five more seconds, guys, you got this, five more. Make sure you're breathing. And good. Now we're gonna go to goblet squats. Remember goblet squats, you're gonna have your thumbs underneath the handles and you're holding close to your chest and your toes are at the front of the platform. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Take a deep breath and go. Just go down as far as you can. Make sure you're feeling that tension. Keep your core tight the entire time. This is a lower body workout, but it also helps with your core. The core is the foundation of your body. The stronger your core are, the more stability you have, the more balance you have, the more strength you have. Okay, five more seconds. Almost there, let's do one more. Awesome, good job. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the RDLs, Romanian deadlift. Hands are straight, weight in the heels. Go all the way back to the ledge and you're hinging with your hips. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds, squeeze those glutes. Keep your legs straight and your back straight. Squeeze at the top. Your hip hinging here, it's just your hip hinge. Squeeze. Now we're not pulling our arms, we're keeping it straight. Your core tight and your shoulders back. Now 10 more seconds. Two and one, awesome, okay. So that completes your second set. If you're completely out of breath and you need to take a break and you only wanna do two, that's fine. If you wanna roll with me and do one more, uh, go ahead and take a quick break and we'll be back in a minute to start our third round. Okay, so we're in our third set. What I want you to do is I want you to crank it up just a little bit more. This is the last set we're gonna do. We're gonna go a little bit faster. Okay, so I'm gonna crank this up to about a 13. Can y'all go up to 13? Let's try it, lucky number 13, right? So you want to keep your arms straight for the step backs, your foot in the middle of the platform, and we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. We're gonna go a little bit faster this time through each workout. So you ready, set, go, 30 seconds. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Keep your arms straight, core tight, shoulders back. Okay, about 10 more seconds to go. Go a little bit faster. Nice, okay, so we're gonna do squats. Again, I have a little more tension on here, so go ahead and keep that tension if you can. Our shoulders are gonna be back, our arms are gonna be straight, and we're gonna squat. Ready, go. It's a little more intense than the rest, but I want you to go a little bit faster. Try to go as fast as you can to get that burnout. You want to squeeze at the top. Make sure you are having your weight in your heels. Breathe the entire time. Do not hold your breath. Keep breathing. You got this. Five more seconds to go. Five more seconds. Feel the burn. You got this. Two and one. Goblet squats. Go ahead and keep that tension. Pull your arms up. Hook your thumbs. Feet at the edge, and go. Notice how I'm taking deep breaths and breathing out each time. Core tight, shoulders back. 10 more seconds. Faster, try to go as fast as you can. Core tight, five more seconds. Good job. You got this, okay. Last one, RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. 
We're gonna go ahead and keep your arms straight, hinge at the hips. I'm gonna keep the weight at 13, and we're just gonna hinge at our hips for 30 seconds. And go. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Keep your core tight. I want you to really concentrate on form and really concentrate on keeping your abs tight and squeezing the glutes at the very top. Make sure your shoulders are back. 10 more seconds. Squeeze your glutes to the top. Four, three, two, one. Keep those, squeeze. Keep your glutes contracted, squeeze tight. Woo, and release. Awesome, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Go ahead and put your handles back on. Thank you so much for completing the three rounds with the teeter fit form. Again, I am Coach Holly. If you'd like to see more workouts, just scroll through your app. And if you're lucky enough to have more equipment from Teeter, there's tons of different workouts on there. Thanks for joining me today. I hope your glutes, your legs, your bottom half is burning. I appreciate you coming. We'll see you next time.